Tough times for coffee shop stalls. Higher rent and rising costs are forcing stallholders to exit coffee shops in the heartlands. Now, for some, rent has risen up by up to 20% in the last few years. And the recent increase in utilities, well, that isn't helping either. Observers say that coffee shops sold at tens of millions of dollars could have led to the high rent environment. Rebecca Mateo tells us more. This Japanese food stall at Clementi is calling it quits after two years. It says rent has gone up by about 20% over the period. Last month, the owner also had to shut down another stall elsewhere. Kuke Tui did not reveal how much rent he's paying here, but he says it is up to $9,000 per month for stores at better locations. To cope, he increased prices by a dollar only to lose at least 10% of customers. The key challenge is that uh, we won't have much profits and even if you have, it's very marginal and like 1, 2K or it's not sustainable for a long run. It's like we start a business with 30, 40K. Every month profit is 1, 2K. We'll never break even. Many share the same predicament. I've been hearing similar things from stall holders from a Facebook group that gathers those in the industry. They also face the challenges of higher rent and costs, but many do not want to step forward to comment for the fear that being vocal would affect their current place or chances of getting another stall elsewhere. On top of rising rent, the prices of many items are also heading skywards. The cost of ingredients for one. Against the backdrop of the Ukraine war, utilities like electricity and water have also increased. Throw in higher borrowing, labour and insurance costs and many stall holders have their backs to the wall. It's a similar situation facing this chicken rice stall at Bado. It has been facing rising operational costs and challenging footfall. After a year, it says that it will be closing for good soon. CNA understands that upon taking over from the previous stall holder, it had to pay an additional $500 in monthly rental. There is another possible reason why rent is on the up. The three coffee shops that recently changed hands for at least $40 million each. The owners of other coffee shops who may deem that because other coffee shops are able to um, achieve such record prices, their coffee shops, well, they actually also raise the valuation of their coffee shops. Uh, at the same time, the prices of and rentals of coffee shops has actually gone up, especially in popular locations in the suburban areas. But there is hope. One analyst says things might cool off this year. We think that they're likely to be stable. Uh, the high interest rate uh, is going to still have a bearing on investor choice, especially if the uh, investors is going uh, in only purely as from the investment point of view. That means they are not part of a coffee shop chain. There are about 770 HDB coffee shops in Singapore. About 400 are privately owned, while the rest are rented out. In 2022, it was reported that 70% of them were sold at below $10 million, with an average of 15 transactions yearly.